again in your platform. Um, today, the, you of course, you are aware that the charge filed against um, Prachi Meze, Benjamin Madbo, David and the Shidebe Ramudiwe was the charge was on pending since 2015. And it was that it was something. They were jointly charged with uh, only the man man can be it was separated. So, and they came up today for hearing because they have been separated. So, man, the only the man has not been discharged. So, uh, they all came up today for hearing. However, before now, we have um, filed an application, looks of penalty challenging the division of the court to, to hear the charge, to control the trial. On the ground that the three count charge filed against them, Contains elements of alleged offenses that were committed, allegedly committed outside the judicial fire court of Niagara. So, as such, that we have to go back to where the allegations emanated from and where the alleged acts took place from. So, and it's a fundamental uh, issue, uh, also anchored on relevant portions of the law, like section 45 for the fire court act, which is very clear. Which is very clear on on what will happen where a person is still being accused of committing an offence in a, a division of a fair high court or probably in a location outside the judicial fair high court sees of the case, so that the matter. The law says the person must be taken back to where the alleged act emanated from. Are you with me? Yeah. So and um, we don't actually want to go into the Made it otherwise of the allegations uh, because uh, that should be the second bite we're going to have at the charge when it's eventually transpired. So, because the three count charge has um, constituted, constituted uh, not only bogus, um, three count charge has constituted uh, not only bogus but empty and frivolous. In fact, as a matter of fact, I don't see a reason why they should be coming to court to, to defend the. Uh, that bogus charge, but as law abiding citizens that we call it uh, to ensure that it ends um, ends um, well. The application was taken today and on the base I jumped for here I for him to I to the fifth of September two thousand twenty two of fifth of December two thousand twenty two for him. So and we are hopeful because uh, this application is anchored. On strong judicial authorities, like this was being called in the case of Spielman against the state against FRN, which is very compelling authority that has to do with issue of criminal judicial of federal court. So, in that case, even the trial commences in federal court levels on alleged other two places in, in Kuala State. Then they proceeded to full trial and they were the it was to judgment in federal court levels. For them to come up here, they try to spring court. Spring court declared the exercise, the trial that took place in federal court, and consequently, I mean, before the come up here, Lagos State, as exercise and fertility, because they ought to have been charged before fire court quarter in the division. Because of the fact that the alleged act, costing the alleged offenses, took place at the Quara State. So, which is very, very compelling on our own case, 
the issue of receiving information of a broadcast on a broadcast made in London, we are all the, the charge account one was specific that information was received at Enugu and Anambra. Why she may say in this case, we are arrested in a quarter of state. The second offense you have been accused of committing is offense of importation of transmitter, uh, which they found at Obolusuzo. These are acts within the confines, within the regional fire court in Anambra. I don't know what, what he's doing here. So, uh, Chief Obey Ramudu and uh, David Wabusi were also accused of frivolous offence of making broadcasts from London. Tell me Chief Obey Ramudu and Bright and uh, David Wabusi. I don't know all of them, apart from them, when they were mad, who have been in Russia. Has David Wabusi and Chief Obey and, and Bright have they travelled to London before? Uh, yeah? So tell me how they can make a broadcast from London and it will consider offence in this country. That will tell you how frivolous and childish into the child is. We bear it without the without prejudice to the merit otherwise of the child we shall not talking about it now. We're going to we won't get to that bridge across it. What we're talking about, what's our major pre preoccupation at this point is for the child to be transferred, the mother to be transferred to Anambra and Oka. Anambra and then wherever the child they preferred. So we'll get to the bridge across that part. So uh, so the all the three counters standing today against them constitute element constitute element and acts. And it took place in Anambra, Anambra and uh, Enugu, that's all. So what that there's no there's no I wonder what they're doing in Abuja here. They have no business coming to Abuja. So if you go there, we have a high court there. We have a high court in Abuja in Alka. We have a high court in Enugu. We also have a high court in uh Porta Court and uh Aquaibo, if the case be. So it was uh, a very robust argument that was taken today and uh joined for doing. And we're optimistic believing that the court will find merit on application. And um, and grant same that is to save them the transport of community about the distress, distress, the inconveniences, the security threats they are, they are being exposed to by coming to coming to Abuja. So uh, whenever the matter is coming up, so when they have a confident photo where they will, they will go to they take the charge to face the trial. So that's all. That's the the purpose of the 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 extent of the application taken today, and. We are hopeful that on 5th of December 2022 that something good will happen uh, because we operate within the ambit of law and we have placed our facts and laws before the courts are waiting the court to do the needful. So thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, as you were saying, we heard about uh, the application for transfer of case to the region where allegedly these crimes were committed. And uh, what I would like you to explain to the authorities. For instance, if this um, application is granted as it's been fixed to be ruled on the 5th of December, if this application is granted, does it mean that the whole case is going to start afresh again or they're going to start from where it stopped here in that region? Well, fortunately, because as you said in the, the case, this case started ever since 2015. And the same then they've been they have not been able to do that. Uh, when when a matter is transferred to a new judge in this stance, in this current case, if application if application is granted as paid and consequently or subsequently transferred to either an Umbra or Kafra Court to start afresh to for trial, the move to trial the trial will commence in over. I will call into over start start afresh. So it means that all evidence going so go so far in the matter will start afresh. But of course, you know, someone has given evidence in the matter sometime to us and something about so and to start afresh. So and we we have other strategies lined up towards uh, resolving the issue towards uh, addressing the incompetence of the child itself. We'll not come to that now. So which I may not be able to discuss here. So but I can assure you that that will be good that we there are there are robust strategies, legal strategies we are gonna to adopt to ensure that once the charge is taken to another duration, we address the competence or otherwise because the child as the constitutes today is not disclosing the offense. It will shock you to note 